So we're here today with CBRNI um, outside the offices of Stephen Farry MP. Um, over the last couple of years, Stephen Farry has become one of the most influential pro-abortion politicians in the whole of Northern Ireland. Two years ago, he signed a, a letter calling for the decriminalisation of abortion in Northern Ireland. And as we've gone through the process of our law change, he has repeatedly said that he's delighted and pleased at the changes in the law and he sees it as a step forward. On the other hand, we see it as murder. So what we're here to do today is to highlight for Stephen Farry's constituents exactly what their MP stands for. So behind us, we've got two images today. One of those images is of a 10 week living fetus um, in the womb, fully developed, growing um, a human being. And the second one is of a child who has been killed. Um, and this is the kind of thing that Stephen Farry stands for. So we're here today highlighting this to his constituents, but we're also calling on his constituents to either ask him to repent of this, to change his ways, and if he doesn't, to remove him. Um, so we, again, we're here for the next hour or so, and we just wanna, wanna highlight this to um, the passing public, um, people in the streets engage with them as they go by, so that everybody is of no illusion exactly where he stands. Well, good afternoon. Raymond is my name from Newton Abbey and uh, I'm involved in pro-life work. have been for many years and uh, I was a candidate for the local government elections in Antrim and Newton Abbey last year and I stood on a pro-life, pro-family platform. Uh, I'm here today to basically highlight the fact that Stephen Farry has voted for abortion and for one of the most lethal abortion regimes ever. Probably the most lethal in the United Kingdom. In fact, there will be people coming over from England and Scotland to have abortions here because it's easier. And it's a very serious situation because at the last election, 18,000 people here in North Down voted for Stephen Farry and 4,000 voted for the Greens. So there you have 22,000 that basically said we don't care about the unborn child. We don't believe the unborn child has any voice. And that needs to be sorted out by the voters of North Down at the next election. And the politicians need to get together and get a candidate that can beat this man, Stephen Farry, at the next election. And the churches need to get together and raise their voice on the killing of the unborn child and on abortion. Thou shalt not kill God's commandment that should be proclaimed as the whole law of God should be proclaimed in the churches of our land. Presbyterian Church is very, a lot of congregations in North Down. How powerful that could be if they would lobby, if they would influence their people by preaching God's word and the law of God and encouraging people to vote for men that honored God in their political lives. And that's what we need. We need the churches to awake on this issue and then the politicians will be under pressure. Thank you very much.